if you have ever used any password manager or if you save your passwords like this that means that you are saving the passwords on someone's else server and we don't want that right so don't worry in this video i will walk you through to set up your very own password manager you can set it up on cloud or on your own local machine and that's what we will be doing in this video and the best part is that it is for free and open source thanks to our sponsor passbolt so for setting it up you will need a linux server it can be on cloud or on your local machine here you can see the supported linux distros for passbolt but i will show you to set it up with docker means the process will be same for all linux distro even if it is not in this list so here i will be using k linux but as i said you can do this on any linux distro so just go ahead and open your terminal and first thing you should always do is to update your repos apt update then just install docker and docker compose apt install docker dot io docker dash compose dash y now just clear the terminal and create a directory passbolt mkdir passbolt then just cd to it next we need to download the docker script for passbolt so just execute following wget and paste the link and all these commands will be in description and here is our file now we need to make few changes in this file so just open it nano and the file now scroll down using arrow keys and here we need to change this app base url so just remove this and write your machine's ip address here then just save the file with control x y and enter Next, we need to set up HTTPS. So just create a directory, certs, mkdir, certs, and you need to keep the directory name and the file name same as I am doing. Otherwise, it will not work. So just cd to certs, and we will need SSL certificates to set up HTTPS. So execute following to generate one. Fill your details here, and that's it. If we just ls, here is our certificate and the key. So just go back to password directory cd dot dot, and now again open Docker file, and go to the browser, and I will link this documentation in the description. Now just copy these two lines, and again go to the terminal and scroll down, and here under volume, hit enter to get a new line, and now press tab three times. Do it very carefully. As YML cares about spacing, and then just paste it, and that's all we need to do. So just save the file, Control X Y, and enter. Now execute following to start Passbolt. Docker dash compose dash f and specify the Docker file up dash d. And now it may take some time depending on your internet connection, and it's done. Now again go to the documentation, scroll down. And copy this. Then again, go back to the terminal and paste it. Now here we need to change username, first name, and last name. So use right arrow keys to go there and remove this and enter your email ID. Then go to first name, remove it, and enter your first name and last name here. And that's it. Just hit enter. Now just copy this URL and go to the browser and paste it and hit enter. Click on advance. And continue to the site. And here we need to download the extension for Passbolt. So just click on Download Extension and add extension to your browser. Now here you need to create a password. So just create it and click on Next. And it will automatically download the recovery kit. And you need to keep it somewhere safe. Then just hit Next. Now this is a security feature that can help you to protect from phishing attacks. So just select a color and enter any three characters. Next, and here is the passbolt. So just click on administration, and here we have many features like multi-factor authentication, and you can also set up it for email notifications. But for now, just go back to passwords, and to save your passwords here, you can click on create, or even you can do that with the extension here. So just click on create. Give a name to it, website URL, your username, password, and then just click on create. Now this is for my Reddit account, so I will just go to reddit.com/login, 
and here you can see this passport icon click on that and here is our password and if i click on that you can see our login details are filled now we can just log in with that and that's it we are logged in so now let's go back to passport and you can also see all your passwords from your phone also so go to app store or play store depending upon whether you are using iphone or android and download the passport app open it Now go back to browser and click here mobile apps and click on start enter your password and that's it just scan this QR code with the password tab and you will be able to see all your password so yes this is all for free and once again thanks to our sponsor passbolt for making such an amazing product and also subscribe if you didn't did it yet